Wonderful. Here we are with Derek Chong. <laughs> and Lovely to perform now. Now, it's been a while. Sorry, it's JB's fault, not mine. Yeah. We've got a new gadget. We've been waiting for something like this for Ooh. a long, long time. What is it, thank, Derek? What is thank, it? This special thanks to Bernard Wong from multirotorshop.com.au. What does it say on there, anyway? It, it say is a... Ooh, to be revealed. Okay, oh. let's have a look. Let's have a look what it is. You got me excited. It is... A scientific approach. The scientific approach. Ooh. Ooh. What is that? Oh, here we go. Now, I cannot believe they could fit all of this into something this size. But it Show us what it is, Derek. It's an LED. Derek, that's not very exciting. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Um, this can't be for real. You're not exciting us. This has got to be a joke. Oh, Andrew. I can't even see that. What? the hell is that? That is, that is tiny. That, believe it or not, gentlemen's, gentlemen's and ladies, is a allegedly yet to be proven, although Face has been using one, mm -hmm. a full-blown F3 flight controller. F3 Nazi? Yes, clean flight, beautiful flight, compatible F3 Whoa. with a power distribution board built in. No way. Way. And a voltage regulator. Oh, very nice. Now, give you a re reference to very size, nice. and this is why we are very, very excited. Mm -hmm. We've been waiting. The biggest holdback has been the size of the flight controller, believe it. That is the width, exact width of yep. a. So you can see that Nazi comes right to the edge of the 36 frame. 36 mil space. So that's why we've limited our skid mark frame to 36 millimeters wide. Which is a bit of a. Large ass, if you ask me, but with the new Pico. What are, what are these things measured, Derek? 20 centimeter, 20, 20 millimeter, millimeter, center to, to center, hole. hole to hole. Okay, let's pull out the old uh, vernier. Uh, it's in here somewhere, Derek. All right, high tech. There we go. And we're going to measure this thing, this little sucker, yeah. but the hole spacing is 20 mil square. Right. So your outsides. The old one, for reference, it's pretty much the width of Skiddy, 36. 36 millimetres. 36 like millimetres. Mm -hmm. This one, ooh, drum roll. <laughs> a full 10. Oh, 26.8. Roughly 10 centimetres ten, smaller. 10 millimetres smaller, Dedic. How these guys fit this all in is beyond me. Whoa. But we are building something around this sucker. Okay, so originally we were thinking of this guy. Oh, Derek, this thing's stuck here. Yeah? The Velcro works well. So this is the Skidmark Pico. And... That's the Nano. Skidmark Nano. Nano. Thank you. Um, problem with this is with the Flip32 board in it, it has no telemetry. Yep. You had to put some inverter and okay. too much stuff around, and it was only an F1 board. This uh, Ooh, F3, very nice. F3, very nice. Four pits All right, right there. and the, the Skidmark Nano, it's almost unbreakable. Mm. It's quite a little fast little frame. We're going to put this um, this thing on our website soon, and um, we'll give you all the specs and what sort of gear you need to run this thing. Yes, but it, but what, it, what sort of motors? These are RCX 1105s. Do not get the 1104s. Do not waste your time okay. with them. The 1105s are so much better. Um, RC, what are these? HQ 303 clock props. Yep. They are really good. I've never tried the Rotor X. They're supposed to be pretty good as well. But on 3S high voltage LiPo, this thing's a blast. Okay. Bolt. So we're going to fit this guy to the Nano, and we're also developing an X frame. X marks the spot. Since everyone's into Xs these days, yeah. um, we're going to develop a little X frame, which will be roughly the same size as this, yeah. but um, it's going to sort of be built all around that, that Pico controller, so watch this space. Correct. All right, thank you FDL for watching. File, files coming soon. All right, stay tuned. Woo, woo. It's like it's like road riot but budget. <laughs> yeah, this is like. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. Ciao.